Hi, my name is Trevor, and today I'm going to show you how to create your own custom maps to use in Power BI. Let's get started. So recently I was working with a data set that consisted of survey data of about a thousand people all over the U.S. Unfortunately, my data set only came with the U.S. region that they were in rather than the city or the state or latitude or longitude. Um, and I wanted to display this information on a map, but none of the map visuals in Power BI let you do this. Um, the closest thing that I got to is the shape map, which allows you to, to import your own custom map. Um, but the process of creating that custom map was just a little bit too much for me. It's pretty complicated. And so I wanted to find something that was a little bit easier to use and would give me the same result. Um, so after a bit of research, I found a visual that, that solves this problem. The visual is called Synoptic Panel, and it allows you to use your own custom maps in Power BI. But the best part of it is their Synoptic Designer tool that you can use to easily make these maps. And I'll include links for both of those in the description. So I'll just explain very briefly how to use it, and then I'll go into more detail and show you a couple examples. You can add Synoptic Panel to Power BI by importing from the Marketplace. Then by using their design tool at synoptic.design, upload your own image, specify regions on that image, and download your map to use in Power BI. So after downloading your map, select the Synoptic Panel visualization in Power BI, drag your region into the measure field, browse and link to find your map, move your region to category, drag data into the measures field, turn on saturate, and there you have it. All right, so now I'll walk you through a couple examples of how I use this visual to show my data on two custom maps that I created. The first is the region map I described earlier, and the second is a store map. However, you can use just about any image to create a map for your data. So we'll start out in Synoptic Designer, where you have a couple different starting points. Uh, the first is in Gallery, and you can get a few ideas of custom maps and diagrams here. One of the sample maps is actually a map of the US, um, but just to show the whole process, I'm going to start out with an image of my own. So I'll click on Browse, navigate to my region map, and open the file. So for this example, I took a map of the US and merged the states together in Photoshop. Uh, one thing to note when choosing an image is to make sure that the image you have is high quality. If I zoom into some of these islands off of Alaska here, you can see the closer I get, the more blurry these lines get. And if you have a very low quality image, um, it's going to be hard to select some of these small areas I can show you here. If I try to select this, it, it doesn't really know what to select because the image is so low quality. And so I'll zoom out here. And the first region that I want to select is this, this is the Pacific region. So Washington, Oregon, California, Alaska, and Hawaii. And so I'll go ahead and click on that. And I can just start naming Pacific. And then I'll scroll in. And you can scroll in with the scroll wheel. And by pressing down on the scroll wheel, you can move around. And so I'll just click on all of these regions and zoom in. And if you accidentally select too much of a region or something that you don't want, you can just come over to the right here and say delete area. And I'll try that one again. And then I'll come back over to the right side and I'll name all of these Pacific. And what this will do is it'll tell Power BI that whenever my data says Pacific, that this is the area that it wants. So if your image is too low quality and you can't select it with this automatic selection tool, you can come over and use this Draw New Areas tool to manually select your area. And so I'll just demonstrate that really quick. Um, you can click and create areas. And if you want to add points, you just click on the line and drag. And you can drag these points around. And if you don't want a point, you can right click and delete it. And then you can again come over here and delete the area. So I'll just keep selecting. Here's Mountain. And that's the other thing, if you use the scroll wheel while you're selected over an area, it'll move the whole area. So be careful about that.
Here's West North Central. West South Central. East North Central. East South Central. South Atlantic. Middle Atlantic. And New England. And I'll even zoom in and get this tiny little area. Once I'm done selecting and naming my areas, I can either submit my map to the public gallery, and here's the requirements for that, um, or I can export to Power BI. And so I'll just go ahead and right click on this, save image as, and once it's fine, I have another map already. And so now I'll go back to Power BI. So now that we have our map, we can load it into Synoptic Panel in Power BI and add some data. So again, to get this visual, just click on the three dots in the visualization pane, click Import from Marketplace, and I already have this visual, but you'll just click Add right there. So now I'll go ahead and click on Synoptic Panel. And here in the visualizations pane, you can see that there's several fields that I have to work with. To load your map, drag one of your data fields to measure, and I'll just use key, and then click on local maps. Find your region map, SVG file, and open that. So now you can drag your region name into category and you can see that it changes color. And if there's still areas of black on your image, that just means that there's no data linked to that particular region. And that can be because data, data is either missing or because maybe one of your areas got named incorrectly in the Synoptic Designer. And so if the latter is the case, just go to your Synoptic Designer again and scroll through your areas and make sure that none of them got named incorrectly. And if you closed your window, or just want to come back later, you can always reopen your SVG file and make changes as needed. So if I only wanted to show areas that have data, I could stop right here. Um, but for me, I want to show more of a heat map. And so I'll just click on Format, Data Colors, and I'll come here to Saturate, and I'll turn that on. And so now I can see my data highlighted in the different regions. And here, South Atlantic has 196 respondents of the survey, and East South Central has 54. If you want, you can also turn on data labels as well. So if you scroll down to data labels and turn these on, then you can see data labels, and you can increase the text size if you want. The only downside this has is for my map, I have a lot of very small areas down here, and it shows them repeated every single time, and so that's not very useful for me. Okay, so just one more example. I'm going to come back into Synoptic Designer and clear this. And I'm going to browse and load my store map. So as you can see, there's a lot of very small categories, and so I'll speed up this next part, but I'm going to do the same thing I did in the last one. Again, once I finish selecting and naming my areas, I'll export to Power BI, save the file, again I'll click on Synoptic Panel, drag in one of my measures, Sales by Region, click and load my local map.
drag my region name into category and go to data, saturate. And so for this example, I just made up some sales data, but you can see that this section had sales of 147,000. And this section had sales of 95,000 and this one only had 8,319. And so really there's a lot of flexibility with being able to have a custom map like, map like this and being able to show your data um, in a pretty unique way. I hope you found this video helpful and if you did, please consider subscribing. Uh, let me know in the comments if you have any questions or if you have any ideas for future videos that I should cover.